scaffolding is up around the whole building. I don't know if you can see this because the sun. Uh, let me go over here, maybe this will help. But the scaffolding, as you can see, is up. One chimney is down. This one is not down yet. We're waiting for the chimney man to come in because we're going to have a flue out the top of that one. This one here. I've been line pointing the whole house. So that's chipping out all the concrete, all the cement, cement pointing they put in. As you can see in the conservatory, it's still there. So you can see the difference in the bricks. Like, um, so here, for instance, you've got the cement and lime, all the old lime. So why they didn't just do <laughs> the lime up beyond me, but as you can see, it needs doing in here. It's had a couple of leaks, which I seem to have stopped to touch wood, if there is wood, uh, by doing the liming up the top here. Obviously can't do everything around the cement. Uh, but we've got to do indoors. We've got to do around the fireplace. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. I'll take you in there quickly. But we don't know how to clean the stones off, which is an awkward one. Uh, also cement. And... I can assume this is cement. Oh, well, it's blown there. Cement round the window, probably all round here. Yes, big job. But that's an indoor job, so I'll show you what I've been doing around this side. And it's a big old wall, big old wall. Oh. Right. So, all the uh, cement has been taken out here. Okay, guys, right, let me show you what I've got around here. As you can see, this much to do. Hopefully, I'm not too quick with the camera. And you can also see just how difficult it is to get off some of these stones. The art is to get sort of get a flat bit like that, and get your chisel right in, give it some wax, sort of a double whack is a good one where you hit it hard and let the hammer bounce on it. It's almost like the second bounce helps it. Sometimes giving them a whack just to sort of hopefully crack them, but I don't want to damage the stones. See, because these are old. This is really, really old. This is 140 something years old, all this. So it's going to take some cleaning out, wire brush, toothbrush, etc. But I've got to chip some more off, so I've got enough room to put some lime mortar in. And the lime mortar I'm, I'm going to use is a ready mix. You know, I bought a one ton bag of it already, and near enough used all of that. And it's that's about three months old nearly, so it's getting a bit harder to use. Or it needs a bit more preparation to use it. But it still works, because it's covered in a bit of water. Um, but I've been concentrating on this so that I can uh, get all the rubble into the skip because we've been taking all this rubble and it's been about, calculated it out, maybe I could be wrong, but it's probably seven of the one ton bags worth of rubble. Yeah, it must be about seven of the one ton bags, all full of this rubble. So chip it out, don't damage this. Don't damage this when you're tipping it out. I've left a bit in there at the moment, hoping that won't be too bad, just keeps it where it should be. This here is holding the pipe up because it's off the wall. Absolute killer getting that out. Stick on a time lapse and you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, catch you in a minute. From the very top on this wall, let's do it slowly all the way down to the very bottom. This wall in particular 
was completely rendered so I had to chip off all the concrete that was on it and then chip it down even further into the lime and re-lime it and then churn it which I have now done the roofers have been chimneys are gone as you can see we've got the wood burning um, flue out the top there see these ridge tiles they all look rather drunk don't they and the reason for that is because they're not made in a mould as such um, they're not fired like they would be nowadays, they're ancient, so they all look a bit pissed because they are pissed. There's nothing you can do about it, it's just the way it is. They're not new. You see? But the gap's the same, you see, on the tiles all the way up, more well, as much as it can be. I've got another tile down, down, uh, down the bottom, if you put it down on the concrete you can see it's all wonky and everything where they've fired. But there you go, it's good for you. A bit windy today, rain stop play today. I've got a little bit more uh, liming to do and then I'm nearly done. Here's the garden. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look productive? I'll go slowly. It's a field over here, as you can see. They're all solar panels. I don't know if you can see it between those trees. I know the camera doesn't pick things up like that, but this is a view from our house. Pretty cool, huh? A few beef cows in the field. Comes the tractor boys. This wall's all done. We've had fascia and soffits put up because this house didn't have them originally. This wall's all done. This wall's all done. And either side of the conservatory is also being done. Oh, and in the middle, of course. Um, I've got to do indoors. Well, that's all done now. As you can see, excellent, watertight. Which is good, because it's starting to rain. Let's have a view from here. Over this town and out to sea. Fantastic, huh? Literally done the whole lot. And this was all cement rendered. So this had cement on it, like, I think I've, I don't know, did I chip that off? No, I left a piece on here because it stops the door, the uh, gate closing, but you can see what this is like. This was a, this would be easy to chip off, this piece, but some of it was so hard, it was unbelievable. About seven tonnes. So yeah, oh, I've got a few more bits to fill in with lime, put rain stop play today. I've only got this bit to do really, and a little bit up there on, at the bottom. And that's all done. This was done yesterday, so it will be wet still, especially the lower I go. But it does dry out. It's amazing stuff. It dries the walls out, dries the bricks out. And you can see it's been raining most of the morning, but you can see these are dry. It's one brick that it's taking a longer, longer to dry than the others, but it's definitely drying out, as you can see. I say bricks, I mean stone. And yeah, I've got to clean out some of these holes and, and just get a bit more lime in. But I was laying on my side down here yesterday doing this and it hurts after a while. So that's got to be done. Let's shut the gate so the doggy doesn't get out. And then of course we've got all the stuff left over from the build. So let me take you down there and show you what we've got. <clears throat> Man, these been great though, look at this. Fantastic. So yeah, we've got the bit of fascia in there that was left over and some fascia that was up there. I'm guessing, I'm not sure whether to keep it or not, but I could use it. Okay, this is off the chimneys, chimney stacks. Some slate, whether I use it again or sell it, I don't know. A couple of chimney pots. That are pretty good. Maybe you can, I don't know, plants or uh, sell on. <coughs> uh, you can't see in here probably, but that's a load of kindling. It doesn't all fit. So there's some more kindling here. Don't know whether I'll keep some guttering or not. Probably because maybe I'll use it on the uh, shed or something later on. Collect water then. 
for the garden, keeping a few slates that are that are any good. Bit of gnarly wood there. Got to make up a chicken run for Mandy's chickens. And that's about it, really. So there you are, all limed. Three and a half months worth of work. And that's literally every day, apart from the odd day when it rained. Oh, and one day when the builders said, don't work under there because we're going to be above you. And that was the heavy stones coming down off of these chimneys. So I was quite grateful to have a day off, to be honest with you. <coughs> but that's literally every day, Monday to Sunday. Chip chipping out and then filling in. I've used probably a bag and a half of the lime. Um, and then I've got to start indoors as well. So that's where we're at. Oh, and we're going to paint all this. And this may be rented out to holiday later in the year. So we'll keep you posted. I'm sure Mandy will keep the videos coming as well. I'm um, just going to upload one from her in a minute. Or tonight, overnight, because the internet connection here is rubbish. But look at this. One cool jet plant. One, two, three, four, five. Five cool jets. Six. Six cool jets. Sweet corn. I'm not sure what this is. Mole trap? Yes. We've got the moly back. Another one. Red cabbage and carrots and pak choy which has gone to seed. Lettuce, spinach. It's all here for us. It's great. And that's since February. So mid-February to, where are we, end of July. Not bad going. Not bad going at all really. So we'll keep the videos coming. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, you know, we're here for you, bye.